the biggest transformation that is happening at the moment for all industries also poses the biggest challenge. There will not be any business left in 10 years that wouldn't be using sophisticated technology. There are always vulnerabilities in how you can use technology. Take what we have today. Ransomware is a class of malware where somebody, for example, infects your PC and encrypts the hard drive and then demands a ransom for, from you before they give you the key to decrypt the hard drive. I'm not talking about cybersecurity alone, I'm talking about all the different complications that will be related to digitalizing all aspects of human life. Artificial intelligence is predicted to make a lot of jobs unnecessary. So how do we create a relationship with this new world where not just blue-collar jobs, but especially white-collar jobs, will be not shipped over to China, but to be done by machines? And then, of course, we have very interesting questions related to machines actually becoming self-aware. And that's perhaps very far away. Perhaps it will happen next year. But what will happen when we have the first self-aware machine? Should we give human rights to that machine? Is it any more okay to turn off the power and kill the entity that lives in the machine? So there are very, very interesting questions that we have to find answers for. And those questions will force us to think about some very central questions about humanity. For example, when a self-driving car gets into a situation where the software realizes that somebody will be hurt or killed, and the programmers will have to decide, and the, the legislators will have to decide what's the right course of action. And it will become very complicated for the car owner as well. If you are thinking about buying a self-driving car, do you want to buy a car that is programmed to kill you if the other alternative is to hurt a lot of other people? We need to be very aware of the challenges that complicated technology poses for people who are not engineers. We need to build technology that serves the humankind and, and appears humane to people. We need companies that are very focused on creating humane technology and then the market will decide whether it will prefer that type of technology.